going on YouTube? It's your boy Curtis Seven here for the review of Crystal Palace versus United at Selhurst Park. Yes, Canton are flying kick country for us United fans. That's what we like to call Selhurst Park. But anyways, moving on. What a game against Crystal Palace. By far, and I'm going to be honest here, I'm going to come straight out and say, David Moyes, you got this tactically spot on. Mickey Mouse, son. You went to Dubai, what, last week for about five days? And I tell you what, son, you must have been watching my YouTube videos. I've been mad about you, especially that David Moyes tactics one. Because I said, mate, mate, the best way we go about it is Yanazai, Matza, Rooney behind Van Persie. And I tell you what, mate, they just went behind him. They were floating. The way I wanted you to play, Mata centrally. Adnan on the wing coming in centrally. Rooney floating around. Van Persie breaking the lines. We were spot on. What, 18 crosses the whole game? Tactically, we were passing. Moyes, you got it spot on, son. And all credit goes to you. Now, I'm not saying I'm, you know, 100% behind you and, you know, I want you to take on United forever. It's one game. Really, we played one good game out of 20, whatever we played, you know. So, I'm not getting excited about one game. But I tell you what, Moisey, you keep playing like this and this style from now on, man, I will be backing you to the hill, son. But, like I said, it's just one game. But anyways, let's talk about it. Um, yeah, uh, good game. Uh, formation. Uh, for those of you who don't know, follow me on Twitter, at Curtis7. I said, if I'm going to predict two things about this game, it's that Fellaini was going to start and Adnan was going to start as well. Now, the reason why I predicted that was, I feel, thought it was common sense, really. We've got Olympiacos Champions League during the week. Uh, so, I didn't think uh, Fellaini was going to start in that. Being that, he hasn't had many minutes and what a good way to get minutes into this game. So, I thought that's why Fellaini would start. And Adnan, he's just always really tricky. And again, I think Valencia would start against Olympiacos. That's why I reckon Moyes wants to bring in Adnan. But the way we played in this game, I think Moyes has got a few things to think about about that Olympiacos game. Maybe Fellaini and Adnan both can start against Olympiacos as well. But anyways, in this game, guys, first things first, uh, Crystal Palace, mate, what a team. They are tactically... I shouldn't say tactically. They're a very sound team, guys. They're very, very hard to break down. They're very, very organized, guys. I know people on Twitter were saying, oh, United, we played shit the first hour. Mate, Tony Pulis has played Crystal Palace such organization in that team. It's unbelievable. It's really, really good for Crystal... If I was a Crystal Palace fan, I'd be happy the way we're playing. Very, very tight at the back, not conceding any goals, and it improved, you know? Their last three home games, guys, they've won all three and have only conceded one goal in 300-plus minutes, you know? And Man City went there, and they struggled to get one goal. Man City only won 1-0, so Tony Pulis doing a Mickey Mouse job at uh, Selhurst Park there. So they were very hard to break down. If you go watch that game again, watch the replay, have a look at players like um, Shamak. When Shamak's not got the ball, bang, he runs down. They get 10 men behind the ball, defending outside the box. And it's very, very hard to break down. It's exactly what happened against Fulham. And all we did was cross it, cross it, cross it, cross it. Got us nowhere. This game, we kept possession. We're trying to look for holes. And boom, what do you know? Second half, um, what's it called? Um, uh, Adnan came out the lines. Uh, he gave a little pass to Evra, got nicked, went over. Was it a penalty? Right on the line. It could have been a free kick penalty either way. With the way our luck's been going, I didn't think it was going to be a penalty, but the referee went bang, point to the spot, penalty. That person stood up like a champion, and what champions do, great goal. 1-0 up, and that was it then. You know, we didn't sit back, nothing. We just came back at him, kept in the ball, good passing, good momentum. Fellaini, I thought, was fantastic. You know, the whole team was fantastic. The only one down thing I could say about us was... Chris Smalling. Now, I love Chris Smalling, but I just do not think he's good enough for right back. 
At right back, he's a liability, guys. He just He's not good enough to keep passing the ball and playing one-twos with Mata and keep on going. He's a real liability. How many times he gave the ball away yesterday, it was, it was a crime. But at centre-back, guys, he doesn't have to get you know, push for it. He doesn't have to pass as much. At centre-back, I reckon he can become a champion. I'd be happy if we stick with Chris Smalling, because at centre-back, he's good. Not right-back. Right-back, we leave to Raphael. Even Phil Jones can fill that right-back uh, spot, but definitely not Smalling. His passing is just atrocious. But other than that, guys, that was our only weak link, you know? In the second half, man, Adnan passed it to uh, Wayne Rooney, got deflected, and Wooshka, the 300 pound a week man, just went boom! To the top corner, and what a volley from Rooney. Outstanding goal, outstanding game, guys. I thought we were, I thought we were fantastic in this game. And to, in my opinion, it was all down to Moyes' tactics. He had us playing beautifully the whole way. Just the passing, you know, the, the formation, the players, the personnel, from Carrick to Fellaini. We bossed it in midfield, you know. In my opinion, Crystal Palace didn't look too good. You know, they defended really, really well. They're probably looking for the draw, but... We bossed it, man. David Moyes, well done, son. Well done. Now, this is the first of many. If you keep it up, mate, I'll be backing you to the hill. Now, we've got a few games up against Olympiacos, you know, Liverpool coming up. We've got City. And to be honest, guys, even if we don't win those games against the bigger teams, I will not give a flying fuck if we don't win as long as we keep playing the way we played in this Crystal, uh, Crystal Palace game. The passing, the formation, I loved every single bit of it. The defending, loved every second. If we lose against Liverpool City and Olympiacos, but we keep playing, I can see, you know, Moyes is trying to play in a good way. I'm happy, man. I'm sold. I really am. Call me crazy, but, man, that's the way I call it. But anyways, guys, we've got Olympiacos during the week. Stay tuned for more review. But anyways, guys, at the end of the day, this is just my two cents. If you happen to give a fuck. Peace.